Let's go. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Ayo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Wildcat Bull here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys here today. And today guys, we are now on the next episode of The Legend of Korra. Ooh. And like I've always said, every single time we've done one of these videos, you already know by now, if you guys have not watched my previous episode I've done on Legend of Korra, I'm gonna highly encourage you guys, please go check it out. Yes guys, what well, my next episode of The Legend of Korra today, we are now in episode 5. Very, very excited to check it out today. And damn bro, last episode, uh, that episode by far was very, very traumatic and scary for Korra. For those of you who didn't watch episode four, so Korra's having nightmares of Amon, which if you guys don't know who Amon is, he's basically the main villain of the show, and he has the ability to take away people's bending, which we all know the only person that was able to do that was Aang from Avatar. So we don't know how he was able to do that. Maybe we'll get more info on Amon when the series, when we continue on later with the series. We also met a new character named Turlock, who apparently want to start up a task force to basically take down Amon's, you know, small little revolution group. So that way, you know, they can eliminate, eliminate him permanently from, you know, Republic City. Meanwhile, we also have Mako and this new girl named Asami. And, you know, they're kind of, you know, sparking a little bit of a shipping. But again, I still ship Mako and Korra, personally. I do hope, you know, they do get together. I really want Korra and um, Mako, personally. Asami's actually a pretty decent, you know, girl that we're kind of getting used to. So far, we only learned that she's apparently a rich, a rich, wealthy girl. Which kind of gives me some, uh, you know, Toph Beifong vibes a little bit. If y'all remember, Toph was a rich, you know, a rich earthbender who was blind. So she kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Korra does eventually join up with Turlock. It was set up by him. He trapped her, like, um, I think at some party where the media came and they were asking Korra various questions about Amon and why she's not, you know, trying to stop him, which of course she caved in and joined up with uh, Turlock's group. So Korra did the most stupidest thing ever that I've seen so far. She called out Amon to basically fight uh, him one-on-one. -on -one. And this is the part where it got scary. Amon was actually met up with Korra at the place. However, he brought a group of his, uh, you know, chief lockers, which, you know, he could have taken away her bending abilities. However, he did explain that he is saving Korra for last, that he has a plan for a public city. But yeah, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to see where, what that's gonna lead to. But yeah, I encourage you to go check out episode 4 if you get. Today, guys, we are now in episode 5 of Korra. Very, very excited to got today. And without further ado, enough of my talk, you should answer the video and let's check out episode 5 of The Legend of Korra. Here we go. Here we go. Mako, yes, bro, I shipped these two. But Asami, bro. Oh my god, it's a love episode. Let's say this episode. Okay, today's episode is called Chapter 5, The Spirit of Competition. The Spirit of Competition. Okay. At least they're training again. Can't wait to see if fire starts getting better. Ooh! Okay, I'm liking the include jazz music in the show. That is true, man. That is true. <laughs> what? Um, it's our first match of the tournament tonight. I know the three of us haven't been a team for very long, but even so, the Fire Ferrets have never been this good. That's right, bro. That's right. We're ready. I want them duo. Oh, Asami. Ugh. Ugh. Are they dating? These new uniforms look great. You look great, champ. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I still, I still ship Marco and Cora. Damn, Asami. My boy. Bro, Cora. Cora, do something. Uh, yeah. I mean, 
mean, Bolin, you're a cool guy and all, but let's be honest, he's not metalcore. <laughs> Bro, that is a cool pet. <laughs> Girlfriend sort of way. She's great. But I think it makes more sense for me to go for a Sami. I was talking about a girlfriend for me. What? Some ladies for the rest of us. <laughs> Not an issue about that. I don't know, man. I don't know, Bo. It doesn't seem like a good idea for you to date Cora. Yeah. You just said she was great two seconds ago. Yeah. Cora's a great athlete, an avatar. Bro, Mako and Cora. I don't know. I ship these two. Please. Let it happen. Bro, you're not. Nah, no, no. She's oh, it's not. She's beautiful. I'm gorgeous. Okay, I don't care what you think. I'm gonna ask for out. Look, it just isn't smart to date a teammate, especially during the tournament. That is true, man. You guys are about to do a tournament. What time are you dating? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. Especially, you don't want feelings involved right when you're about to start. No, don't, don't kiss him, please. Don't, don't kiss him. I thought he was about to kiss his pet right now. Is it Christmas? <laughs> I saw the most. I saw a bunch of homes. Yeah! Tell us all about the magical romance. What? <laughs> Listen to you two. I'm not interested in Mako or anything. There you are. Don't lie. Besides, he's all into that prissy, beautiful, elegant, rich girl. Damn. But let's just pretend for a second I am interested in him. What would I do? Who? I just read a historical saga where the heroine fell in love. What? Yeah, what? We... What? This is not a good advice to her from a little kid. That tends to the kids don't know shit. <laughs>
Let's go, let's go. Bro, 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 bro. Cora. I don't know. Maybe she might do it. Look, I really like you, and I think we were meant for each other. Okay, better, better. But did it work? I'm really sorry, but I just don't feel the same way. What? What a liar! You're a liar. He knows he likes her. Ah, sorry. It was so amazing out there. Oh my God, bro. The pain, it sucks. So, uh, ah, uh, Bowman, well, just, just stop that. Just stop. Dinner together, sort of a date situation. No, that's really sweet, but I don't think so. I don't feel very date worthy. Uh, Are you kidding me? You're the smartest, funniest, toughest, buffest, talentedest, incredible girl in the world. All right, woo! <laughs> you really feel that way about me? Hell yeah. Since the moment I saw you. Trust me, I know we're going to have so much fun together. You know what? I could use some fun. Okay, sure. Yes! Who's the luckiest guy in the No way. Bolin, did you really do that? You two haven't kissed yet. I'm surprised. <laughs> Alright, Bolin, let's see what you got, brother. Nugget! I mean, 
Michael's a liar. Well, personally, just say it right now, he's a liar. He does like Cora. The, bo the porcupines? Habitar has a weird name to pronounce your animals, so again, just saying.
Uh, man, no, 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 no. They came this far. They cannot lose. <laughs> Weapon! Weapon! Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, well he did eat a lot of noodles, and I remember. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Oh my goodness, bro. Come on guys, you gotta survive this shit. Guys, get your head out of your ass, bro. Oh! Bro, what the fuck? Yeah! Maka! Oh! Oh, Golden, sorry. Oh, he pulled the yellow car. Oh, yellow fan, my bad. Right <laughs> bro, come on. This is like the championship game right here, bro. Come on, you still have a chance. Yeah. Guys, step it up. Let's go. He's not even, they're not even trying. Where is Cora, bro? Cora, step this shit up, man. Mike was out. All right, Bowling, come on. Oh, his shoulder's broken or it's bruised. Oh, up and down. Damn it, Cora. All right, Cora, come on. I thought I, I still thought I was gonna pull them in right now. You two messed up. It's up to Cora now. Girls, yeah. <laughs> what an unbelievable effort here by Cora. All right, come on, Cora. She got this. She got this. What you mean, bro? She's the Avatar. Let's go. Let's go. Good shit, Cora. Good shit. Good shit. Let's pop back in, bro. That was pretty much the coolest thing I've ever seen. Thanks for not giving up on us. We never would have made it this far without you. Yep. I owe you. Big time. You're welcome. So, I know things are confusing right now, but I hope we can still be friends. Definitely. These motherfuckers. Bro, come on, beat so your ass. Boy, I don't know what that is. Hey, that's a sign of losers. I hope you see it. I'm gonna kick your ass, bro. I'm gonna see who losers really are. Yeah. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. You did before. You just. Oh, 
I didn't mean to let things get so out of hand. Yeah, bro, she's kind of playing. Uh, we'll be all right. Ugh, she's kind of playing. We had fun together, didn't we? I Hell had yeah. a great time, honestly. You are one of a kind. That was it? What? How's it over already? Nothing. With approval, round one knockout, the defending champs secure their spot in the finals. I hope the parents know a good doctor because they're gonna need one. Ooh. It's not looking good, bro. It's not good. Okay, okay, okay. So, what did I think of episode five of Korra? Damn, bro, a lot of mixed emotions in this episode. Uh, a lot of mixed emotions. Again, I ship Mako and Korra, man. I just, uh, I know Asami is in there. I know she's in. I know she's in the loop. Well, she doesn't know yet, but again, uh, I like Mako and Korra. I personally do. I ship these two. I really want them to get together. I'm just saying, but. I kind of feel bad for Bullen. I really, really do, bro. I mean, he, he won the game, bro. He, he got him like to the next match, and Bullen's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's, he's like a good friend. You, you, I can't. I'm sorry. I, I just, I like Korra and Mako. They just seem cute together, you know. But again, Mako is seeing Asami, and you know, they're she, they're in a, kind of in a relationship, I guess. But yeah. But honestly, episode was actually pretty dope. I really enjoyed episode five. Uh, again, a lot of mixed emotions, love and all that stuff. But it was honestly pretty dope. We got to see, you know, the fire ferrets compete, you know, actual tournaments, bro. And dude, these competition fight scenes, you know, are the best I've seen so far. Bro, they are fantastic, bro. And it's all getting me hyped and amped up. <laughs> but yeah, man. <sighs> Again, I just feel bad for Mullen. I really do, but he'll find someone eventually. I think. I'm not even sure. There's gotta be a girl on this show that likes Mullen for who he is, but... But, yeah, episode 5 was pretty dope, man. I enjoyed it for the most part. I really want to see what's in store. I really want the Fire Ferris to beat the... What, the Wolf Bats? Beat their asses, bro. Like, I'm, these guys, man. I just... Uh, hopefully they do, man. Can't wait to see what's in store. All in all, guys, episode 5 was pretty dope. Again, it was like a love episode. It is what it is, but you know, I'm kind of, we're sensing the shipping, you know, getting stronger with Korra and Mako. Hopefully, I, I really do hope they get there. I really do. I'm sorry for Asami, but I don't like Asami and Mako. Just saying. Asami's cute, pretty hot, but eh, it is what it is. But yeah, episode five was pretty dope, guys, of Korra. I really enjoyed it for the most part, and if you're not seeing it, please go check it out. But, so I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you like, please don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. I will be doing more reactions in the future. If you have anything you want to check out in the future, please let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, yeah, this has been your boy, Wildcat Bolt. I'll see you all later.